We're falling out, we've reached disaster Don't know where we're gonna be after And we do it all again and again and again and again Again and again and again and again We're falling, falling down, we faded But I know, I know that we can save it Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of break us down, I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter Using the floaty device just chilling. Where, where are you? Come on. Why don't you go into the water? Go into the water. Currently, we are inside our room. We're stuck inside our room yeah, it's because it's hard. raining really hard and the waves are so yep. high. I'm looking at it right The tide now. is so yeah, high right now. So we cannot swim at all. Strong wind too. Mm, well, you can swim if you want. Yeah, it's but dangerous. we're just watching the waves right now. Yeah. But we just want to tell you a little story last night because... Yeah, we it, were sleeping. Mm -hmm, we were sleeping. It's, it it's, a, per, it's our personal experience. It has nothing to yeah. do with... Um, it just so the staff happened and that, other just so happened here. that it happened mm -hmm. to us. So, 12 midnight, you woke up and you said, Love, there's no electricity. Yeah, there's no electricity. And we thought that, ah, okay, yeah, we'll we just sleep just a, again yeah. and just wait for the electricity to come back. Um, come yeah. back. We thought then it was just after like a simple two or blackout. three hours. Nope. No electricity still. No electricity still. still. And it's around 3.30 a.m. Yeah. And we went outside to look for someone. Yep. No and to check yeah. if other villas have their powers. And they did. And they did. <laughs> it was just us for it some just, weird reason. Yeah. And we know that it's raining yesterday. Yeah. And it's a bit... Um, stormy. Stormy. Sorts, yeah. But... Yeah, there was no one. There's no one mm -hmm. around. But we basically just had to go... To the staff house and thankfully the security guard was there mm -hmm. and he called the technician and the and technician the, is still awake yeah and he or he woke up mm -hmm. and he went with us and he fixed the circuit breaker and yeah so we had power it was kind of weird yeah it is what it is well we have our power back mm -hmm. now Hello! <laughs> What's up everybody? Tried to get some drone shots in but the wind was picking up and the waves were super strong. So Manel was kind of getting blown away and so was the drone. So yeah, we're going to try again tomorrow because it's raining again now. Look. So it's day what? day five and there's like some passing wild wind like really wild I don't know if you can hear it oh, whistling it yeah and then now it's going wild so tonight we're just going to have room service because it's very rainy yep. it's very windy this afternoon and we just want to stay in the room and work after eating
Kawai ka dyan din. because the weather is nice today and we were able to go swimming in the ocean now yeah. we're cooling off in the pool so yeah glad we got to swim just the past few days it's been super rainy so yeah peace out We're going to find a drink first. And, and then I'm hungry. The chef made me try it. It's really good. This is sweet sauce. This is spicy sauce. So basically, it's like a you can rice pour it. cracker with stuff. And you're supposed to pour it in and eat it right away so it doesn't get soggy. Tried it. It was really good. So now it became full. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> okay, that's the What the hell are you? You gotta eat the whole thing. I don't know what's inside. What's inside? I don't know. But it's called Pani Puri. Pani Puri. Mmm. <laughs> okay. It's really good, right? Comment down below if you visited Indian street food. Mm -hmm. It's super yummy. We would like to visit India one day and try all their street foods. That's one, one of the things in our bucket list. Just got back.
back. We just got back from breakfast and we saw some sharks near our room, so I wasn't planning to swim again, but the weather's too nice and the sharks are too cool to pass up. So we're going in again. So we're gonna hunt for some more sharks. Hopefully. We got this online and we bought it like our Shargao days, right? Yeah. That and was two used, years ago. And then we used it in in Bali. But I think it's clear there. I'm not sure what kind of fish they eat. I think it's because it's my birthday. <laughs> It's gone. YouTuber. How's the seafood? Yum. What's well, your favorite? I'm a big fan of seafood, but it's good. I like the lobster. Yeah, me too. I like the lobster. <laughs> I like the ice cream because I keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream! It's my favorite. And right now, I, I use my... What do you call this? Cardigan? Cardigan, oh, because it's already cold. It's windy. It's windy. So yeah, we're going to wait for the meat. Mm. I think that's the next yeah. one. So we're just done eating the salad, and some other the bread, yeah. and some other stuff. And, and, the sharks, and the sharks finish eating. And the sharks are finished eating. So yeah, we're just waiting for that. And I think we're going we're going to head to our room and pick some stuff. Because it's a bird. So, if you are planning to come here in Maldives, I think most of the people, if they hear Maldives, it's and the think, the first thing that oh, yeah, it's it's expensive. mahal, it's expensive. We can't go there. It's just a it's just a dream, but. I'm telling you, if you go to the Philippines and you book a, 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 a high-end resort, yeah, it's it just the same maybe price. the same or even The same more. or more cheaper. It really depends where, where you're going or what hotel are you going to book. Yeah, it could cost more 
or the same mm -hmm. or more expensive you know. and of course depends how you spend yeah, depends, I guess yeah really like in food. food it's not that it's not cheap but it's not super duper expensive Maybe in this resort, I'm not so sure. Depends also. Yeah. But this is just according to our experience. Mm -hmm. So what how much did we spend all in all? We, we spent, spent sixty thousand, yeah, around sixty thousand for, for the flight back and forth for the both of us. It's from the Philippines going to Maldives. And we spent around ninety thousand to one hundred ten. It's with the taxes and the free buffet breakfast every day for ten days. And we spend, we don't know how much we spent yeah, for we, food. We're gonna find not out yet, tomorrow when we check. But out. maybe, maybe 20k. Maybe 20k we or eat, more. We eat snacks sometimes and mm -hmm. we have cocktails and stuff. How much you're gonna eat, mm -hmm. how much you're gonna drink. So for us, because we don't eat lunch anymore, that's why I think it's not that expensive. So yeah, it's just a breakdown of everything that we spent so far. So if you are coming here, of course, do not. You have all. You also have to check all their activities and how much it costs if you are going here and you wanna dive or you wanna. Yeah, they have um, a price list that you can yeah. get. it's it's in their website, so you can check everything there. So yeah, and we apologize for not um, vlogging so much for this trip. And I hope you and still enjoy this vlog. Just wanted to enjoy your mom's mm -hmm. vacation. And because it's my birthday. So thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. We're 13,000 subscribers at the moment. Almost 5,000 followers on Instagram and TikTok. TikTok, we're at... Around 1,500. Yeah, 1, 1,500 on TikTok. And we're very happy. We're very happy with the growth, though it's not um, a, a huge jump from from the previous um, months. But we're happy. So thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for everyone who appreciates what we're doing. And and dami ko na naman sinabi. So bye guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate you.